What is up YouTube? Four Leaf Cards here. Hey, thanks for clicking. We're doing the national stuff. I don't even know what part we're on. We got piles of stuff here we're trying to get through. We've got it all split up so that uh, it doesn't take you too much time each day to to see what the heck happened to me at the national. Everything's been in impound for a couple of weeks. Uh, I got COVID, so we didn't want to open it up. We wanted to make sure that virus was all degraded and whatnot. Uh, so we're finally going through, and I'm trying to figure out what even happened to me. It was a whirlwind. Uh, I had a great time hanging out with everybody. That was the key part of the whole thing. It's just the people. If I came back with one or two cards and that was it, it probably would have been a win anyway. Uh, but we didn't. We came back. We were hitting the dollar boxes. We just did part one. Now we're going to give you part two of the dollar boxes at the single club and a little bit of a story on this one. Um, and uh, we'll get to that after I do these uh, these singles here. So we'll start off with, hey, look at this. We'll start off with a kickstart. Uh, Ray Allen, so that's an early Ray Allen, actually playing for the Bucks. Got some nice shine to it. Uh, so there's Ray Allen. We got Grant Hill. I love these with the uh, the uh, acetate there. You can see behind it. Um, so Hall of Famer EX, you know the acetate. Yep, we're gonna take that for a buck. Nico Horner. I just like Nico Horner. I don't know why. I saw him on some like social media videos. Like a bunch of the dudes were like got a place in down in Arizona or something, spring training, and they were living down there or whatever. And uh, I just thought he seems like a really nice guy. And, uh, you know, he's playing okay for a middle-of-the-infield kind of guy. So, I don't know. It's the, uh, it's like the chrome version of it. You know, the, the hot box version. Little Jose Canseco, shiny uh, Bowman's best. I don't know. That buck. Now, this one, that's worth a buck right there. Look at that. Look at the action on that. Man, they don't make cards like they used to. Wow, look at that Palmer order. I don't think I had that one yet. I, I don't think so. Fleer Tradition, Manny Ramirez for a buck. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Here's a little Chipper Jones, Victory uh, Starstruck. These are, I think that's a pretty decent value. Uh, Chipper Jones doesn't really carry a whole lot of hobby love. You know, so his cards don't cost much. But he's a Hall of Famer. Look at this nice shiny, heading for the Hall, uh, Roberto Alomar. Super shiny. Verdugo, I picked up another one here in that last stack, if you saw that video. I've been trying to add a couple of Verdugo uh, rookies to my collection. These, this is a, some, so I'm I'm doing the Hall of Fame metal, uh, Leaf Metal series. Um, so the I got a bunch of these silver ones. But you don't see the, uh, the gold ones too often. So here's a Barry Larkin gold. So I had to pick that up for a buck. I mean, how do you pass that one up? Look at the. This Bowman's best. Look at the shine on this thing. Holy moly. Uh, die cut Onyx Extreme Larry Walker. Yep. For a buck. I'm taking that. Here's a nice Bowman's best Jeff Bagwell. Now the rest of these are going to go pretty quick. There was a big run of them. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to try to get all the Hall of Famers. Uh, so I got to go through and look at the checklist. But we're going to go quick here. Andre Dawson. These were all just in the dollar box. Mike's Mucina, Deion Sanders, you got Jim Tomei, Pudge, Ozzy Smith, Trevor Hoffman, Kurt Schilling, not Hall of Fame, but in my book he is. Craig Biggio, look at Eddie. Eddie, mother, Evan Murray. That is badass. Anyway, uh, you got Early Pedro, you got Baines, uh, Larry Walker, Dave Winfield. Ryan uh, Sandberg, and then you get this other one. The uh, this is what is this? Ninety five and 90, 94 and ninety five, right? This is ninety five. Uh, so I said I'm going to make the run of these too. They got them, you know, to, just to have them all in one spot and just be like, yeah, I'm going to pick them all up. Uh, Paul Molitor, Mike Mussina, Glavin, Murray, Lee Smith, little KP, Tim Raines, Neon Dion again. You got my Manny Ramirez, Bagwell. Lee Smith, Trevor Hoffman. So, big old pile of uh, Topps Finest, but I'm going to put those in a binder, I think. And uh, do they all have the uh, protector on? Protector on, protector on, coating, 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 coating. They all, those all had the coating, so there you go. So, I'm going to binder them up. So, that was a big, just a big kind of bulk thing. They were all, somebody just threw them all in there, and I was like, I'm taking all those. Now, part of the deal was, so those were all dollar cards. <clears throat> and on the first day, I was catching up with Mike, and at the singles club this year, they had a backpack deal where they had big chase cards. It was like a Michael Jordan rookie card. There was a 
Satchel Page, like a 53 Satchel Page, I think was in there, like a, in a four or something. It was a big, big chase card. Uh, you know, Luka Doncic rookies and, you know, some big cards that, you know, if you got that, you, you it was either a nice card that you'd keep or you could maybe try to flip that into something that you wanted. And uh, the backpacks, I think, were 200 bucks. And uh, I was sitting there with Mike, and Mike knows the guy from the single club, Mike, a uh, baseball collector. And I think I think it was the first day there or whatever. No, it was the second day. And uh, I had a big stack of... 40 of these so it was a partial you know partial part of this and i was like well i was like 46 and i was gonna be like hey you take 40 bucks you know and, I, and so the guy's like okay you get 40 and, and mike was like hey man you gotta buy this backpack i mean you guys might have seen mike's video already and uh he's like you gotta get this backpack come on man and the guy the guy is there oh you know mike so like if you buy a backpack i will give you 40 dollars uh, your forty dollars worth of cards for free, so that makes the backpack now a hundred and sixty. So I was like, all ah, right, I guess I'm, I'm not normally a gambling man, but, uh, you know, it seemed like everybody wanted to just see what was in one of these backpacks, and, you know, I think the the it helped the guy get a little a little uh, exposure, if you will. So I was like, okay, I'll I'll do it. That's fair enough. You're willing to stick your neck out here, give me a little deal on these singles. Uh, so technically these singles were free and I bought a $200 backpack. Now, what was in the backpack was not the chase card. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, but what I did get was a box of Gypsy Queen, a blaster box here of Gypsy Queen. And we'll probably just, I don't think I bought any Gypsy Queen this year. So we'll probably put that on the pile, uh, of wax. And I got this bad boy. I know you guys are pretty excited. Some of you have already seen this, but it is a numbered out of 15 Christian Leitner sticker autograph card. I mean, we got, we did get the bag, so there's some value there. But uh, it's funny because I think Leitner, if you guys uh, watched my video last year, National, I had five bucks in my hand. I just made a deal. It was like a $20, a $15 card, and I had 20 bucks. The guy gave me five bucks back or whatever. And I had five bucks, and at the end of the day, I was so tired, I didn't even want to take my wallet out and put the five dollars back. So I walked up to the the closest table, and I was like, "What do you got here?" And like, I picked out a card. It was a Christian Leitner autograph. I was like, "Will you take five bucks for this?" And the guy's like, "Yep." So I walked out of there, and I got back, and I was like, "Scott, why did I buy this Christian Leitner autograph?" So the funniest part of this is, uh, I I now have this like Christian Leitner like he's following me around kind of thing. So maybe I'm going to become a Christian Leitner uh, super collector. I don't know. But that was what was in my $200 uh, backpack. You know, hey, some people have to lose so other people can win. Uh, so I'm glad I took the odds, uh, took one out for somebody else to win. So now later on in the week, uh, we were hanging out. I think we were waiting for an autograph on Friday. So that was maybe thir Wednesday or Thursday. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, I think on Friday we were hanging out waiting for uh, Petroselli's autograph. And you'll be seeing that in another video. Uh, and the guy came up to me because he remembered, you know, I was wearing my, my four-leaf shirt. And uh, Scott's pretty noticeable with his big beard. But anyway, we were hanging out and he came up to me and he's like, hey, these guys at uh, whatever this is. There's some new grading companies. I don't know. Platinum Standard Grading. Uh, they were just giving out cards to so you could see what their holders looked like, and he they could give what he's like. He said, "Yeah, just give it out." So he gave me this uh, Pat McAfee eight and a half out of platinum standard grading. So it was a consolation prize. I don't really uh, collect Pat McAfee or the Colts, but uh, we got a story, so we'll put that in the pile as part of the uh, the bag winnings. So there you go. There's a little uh, little thing there we got some big boy cards coming if you guys are watching the series here we got the big boy cards coming we got a lot of autographs uh the still the youtubers and still the four leaf five dollar finders fees lots of videos coming so pay attention for those uh and we'll see you in, an, in another one there thanks so much for watching if you guys are open to anything best of luck to you don't forget to collect to connect that was definitely what the national was all about and have an awesome day